Photoshop crashing and freezing has been ruining people's lives for years and I'm here to put a stop to it. I'm going to show you four methods that you can use to ensure that you are not going to get your Photoshop to crash or at least it'll be less likely to crash. The first one is if you go ahead and you search for Photoshop before simply opening the app, right click on it and select run as administrator. That is going to be helpful. Another really helpful tip is if you go to your search taskbar and you type in Photoshop, before selecting Photoshop, you're going to hold down shift and keep holding down shift and then you're going to select Photoshop. And as it loads, you're going to get an option here to skip loading optional and third party plugins. You're going to select yes. This can very likely resolve your entire problem. Now, something that I wish to point out is that you're not going to see that dialog box if you simply hold down shift and press Adobe Photoshop. You have to keep holding shift until you see that dialog box as Adobe Photoshop is loading. The next one is you're going to want to update your drivers. This is going to help because your device has a lot of visual graphic card drivers. And if they're not up to date, that could be your entire issue. How do you do that? The first thing you're going to do is you're going to type in device manager. You're going to select that device manager control panel. And you see here on the left hand side, there's a lot of options. You're going to look for display adapters. You're going to select the arrow or the carrot right here so that you see the drop down options. Now I currently have the Intel UHD graphics 630 and the Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070, yada, yada. What you do is you right click on each and you select update driver. Then it's going to give you an option to search automatically for drivers or browse your computer. Most of the time, you're just going to select search automatically for drivers and then follow the steps there. If you're still having problems, go back to that task search and search for storage settings. If you select storage settings and you see, as in my case, that most of your storage is used, why don't you go ahead and delete a bunch of your ex-girlfriends or ex-boyfriends photos and videos to free up some space. The reason for this is, is because your computer moves stuff out of RAM in and out and basically think of this as your brain capacity. If you're thinking about something using 85% of your brain, you only have 15% free to go ahead and do some free thinking, free operating in your brain. Your computer works the same way. So go ahead, free up some space on your computer and that should resolve the issue. And finally, I want to show you this magical trick to go ahead and get your Photoshop working better. So one thing that you can do is in the search, you're going to type in graphic settings. You're going to select graphic settings. From here, you're going to want to go to browse and select Photoshop. How do we do that? Well, we click on browse. If you click on Windows C and then program files, click on Adobe and select Photoshop, the latest version that you have. So here I have Adobe Photoshop 2022 and also the beta version, that's the AI. Then you're going to select add and then you'll find Photoshop and you will click add. And once Photoshop is here, you're going to see options and remove. You're going to select options and see by default, it says let Windows decide. Well, Windows makes terrible decisions all the time. So rather than select that, select high performance and then click save. This is going to help you out a lot. Now, if you've already tried all of these methods and you're still getting this error, it means that I've been useless to you and it makes me feel absolutely powerless, useless and like a loser. It makes me feel that my stepfather was right. So do me a favor. If you figure out an issue in another way to go ahead and restore Photoshop and not have a crash, mention it in the comment section so that I could feel wholesome again and so that you can help other people that are searching for a solution for this problem because it really can be aggravating. And besides being aggravating, sometimes people are editing their photos, they're doing a lot of work and all of a sudden Photoshop crashes and you lose your entire work for the past couple of hours. That can be infuriating. It's happened to me many times and I'm putting a stop to it right now, hopefully for me and for you as well.